Hello guys, hope you are doing good. Welcome back to my channel. Today let's see what is cleanup wizard in Pega and how it is useful and what are the steps that we can do in cleanup wizard. Before going to video, I want to share that I am available in TopMet now. So if you want some Pega career guidance or if you want some Pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview questions whatever it is you can reach me personally in this top mid. you can book a video meeting with me so that uh, i can have one to one chat with you guys let's get started into the topic so today i will be showing some wizard uh, in that wizard like uh, suppose you have a connectors integration where you have started some uh, importing of uh, so some connect tools and here uh, you have given some value and just you click next next and uh, you just save it but you did not create that but you want, don't want to lose track of this so if you work, uh, log off and login back you can't see that but where we can actually see that uh, respective instance that we have created uh, so here if you go to integration tools there is some concept called as wizard cleanup in this wizard cleanup you can see all the instances what you have seen suppose i have just created it but i did not enter it see so in this way you can see and not only that there is some other wizard like configure application tools all wizards this is also one place where you can see uh, branch uh, merge or those also like that here so you can see here I uh, did uh, one branch merge, so it was like it is always here. Suppose uh, I am having a branch. Tons. This is one of the branch, okay. Okay, now I will be checking this flow. And I want to merge this. So we are seeing like uh, this particular merge branch. Here you can see like PSW hyphen two. So this is a merge wizard. Second lens. This is merge wizard. Second instance. This particular thing you can also look from here. Configure application tools or wizards. Refresh. So if you want to see here, see. So if you want to know the like who has done branch merge or who is doing the integration or who has saved it or cancelled your things, you can just have a look here. So all the rest integrations, soap integrations, those are termed as data source one, two, three, those are labeled as with this ID. And this branch work and all like it could be like PXW1 and all. So see this is result computer because I have done a successful merge here suppose uh, I have again another branch of rules okay now there are no rules in this respective branch so let's take the same flow and just checking out the branch rules I checked in the role, okay. Now I will go here to our all wizards refresh. See, there's no instance. Now I'm going here refresh and I'm going to merge it. Okay, if I click merge, it would be merged, but here I want to go with the all the wizards again and I want to check whether instance has yes. See? A merge branch wizard has been given here and see pxw3 so this is open status if i open so the branch does not contain any rule sets too much because i did not select any rule set now if i uh, go here and do 
some uh, merge then this pxw3 instance will be updated as result completed suppose if i cancel now okay the merge has been cancelled see again it is updated as result rejected and not only that uh, if you want to filter with the operators in your application so this is like a micro monitoring of your application like uh, suppose you have created a branch and someone has merged and uh, you can see the rule set versions and all but uh, when you are working with a lot of teams and all and you want to have a look onto it you can go ahead and see this and uh, integration is also like that it is useful and you can do more filtering out uh, with this status like uh, with the name or whatever way it is and this is label also so if you want to filter out with the, some labels you can do this so this would be helpful when you want to monitor the application or if you want to explore the pega otb things like uh, what it is about and if you want more info on this you just click on this help and uh, it will be very useful and if you want to see only integration related uh, wizard like you know then you have to go for configure integration tools wizard cleanup so we have to go here where you can see like uh, data mapping rules or deleted geometry connector and here you can see only these things but not the branch merge or that uh, i'm just pausing this so you can see how you can traverse through this all wizard and this is all about uh, integration wizard cleanup this is not only for connect list whatever integration you have taken you can see all those uh, instances here suppose it is soap integration if you click cancel it will be updated as cancel the creation of this data source so it will be like result rejected but just if you close here without cancelling it you can see as a new okay so this is the difference between this cancel and this close okay so whatever integrations you do it is termed as a data source that's why it instances data source whereas merge it is a work related aspect that's why it is termed as pxw and another uh, main use of this uh, integration is a right so if you have created a wizard uh, like connect list, suppose here I have created a new integration px data source 3 you can see here and uh, I have created some integration classes and all and if I click undo generation it will delete all the rule sets all the rules that are created suppose this is the integration class uh, I can go here over i one int you can see these are already created right now if i just click undo generation and see this will delete all the records and all okay everything is deleted now if i see see it is not there now we can go to this integration wizard and check it's result completed because we have uh, deleted all the instances now if i want to create another integration i go here sorry i go here configure integration connector create rest integration and again i want to create a, a, some other uh, integration suppose i have here like this i have given this to get next and if you want to create uh, data also you can create it i'm skipping it now i'm click create so these are done now you close this you can see here so this has been created now i close this but now i want to delete uh, these respective data source instances you can see here normally if you want to delete this integration uh, 
uh, rows that you have already created we have to go manually and do this deletion then that this integration wizard cleanup is so helpful for us in this respective scenario where you can go here get this and see this is result well completed but if you see here there are nothing because it's already done now if you go here you now you get an option to undo generation this will clean up all the records that are generated for your integration now done okay. close it refresh it now you can see and here also see so this is one of the most uh, helpful for us uh, in the development so as i have told earlier like merge is uh, of uh, all wizards clean up concept is one and uh, this integration wizard to clean up all the rules that are created for whatever integration this is so helpful so in the longer run you no need to list out all the rules or the data pages that are created or the classes and all so Pera OOTB is giving a feature for us to do this uh, integration wizard cleanup and all wizards tools is just for uh, having a monitoring thing uh, actually you can do deletion from there also because the data source is same here and there hope this uh, is very useful for you guys suppose if you already used in your project please feel free to comment so it will be helpful for many people to understand this concept and uh, it will be a knowledge sharing to everyone as well thanks for watching this video hope you like this content please subscribe to my channel click on bell notification so you won't be missing any latest video from this youtube channel